Welcome to question 19 from the 2020 CTMUA paper 1. The question asks us to find the smallest positive integer x for which x squared minus 52x minus 52 is positive. We are given six different options. Pause the video, read through these options and have a go at answering the question for yourself. OK, let's begin by writing down the mathematical statement that x squared minus 52x minus 52 is positive. Um, and now we want to find the smallest positive integer x which satisfies this. So that sounds like we're um, trying to maximise or minimise uh, this expression on the left. So this is a quadratic expression, so what technique do we have for doing that? Well, we can complete the square, uh, because when we complete the square then we're left with something squared uh, and then some constant. So let's complete the square on this left-hand side, um, and that we will do by considering x minus 26 squared, because 26 is half of 52. Um, so that gives us x minus 26 squared minus 26 squared minus 52, strictly greater than 0, because this is exactly equal to this. Um, so we can rewrite this if we move 26 squared and 52 onto the other side. Uh, and now what can we notice? Well, 52 is just 2 times 26. So on the right-hand side, we have 26 times 26 plus 26 times 2. So we can factor the 26 out. Uh, and we just have 26 times by 26 plus 2, uh, and 26 plus 2 is just 28. So we want to find the smallest positive integer, integer x uh, for which x minus 26 all squared is strictly greater than 26 times 28. Now you might, uh, at this point, just want to plug in some numbers and try to solve this, but we can actually go a few steps further if we think about the difference of squares formula because we can rewrite 26 as 27 minus 1 and 28 as 27 plus 1 uh, and therefore we have something minus something times by something plus something which from difference of squares tells us this is 27 squared minus 1 squared. So we want to find the smallest positive integer x for which x minus 26 all squared is strictly greater than 27 squared minus 1 uh, and since we're only dealing with integers we're therefore going to need uh, x minus 26 all squared to be equal to 27 squared and since x has to be positive we can see that this can only happen if x minus 26 is equal to 27 uh, and therefore we can just add 26 to both sides and see that therefore x is equal to 53 and if we look back at the options uh, this is in fact option E so our answer is option E